Good morning, St. Francis. It is Wednesday, July the 14th, 2021, Wednesday of the 15th week of the year, but it is also the memorial of St. Kateri Kataquita, uh, the Lily of the Mohawks, one of the uh, first uh, native peoples of the Western Hemisphere uh, to be baptized into Christianity. Um, Mid-1600s, French Jesuit missionaries uh, come to her people, the Mohawk people in upstate New York, um, and she is taken in uh, by uh, the message of the gospel um, and so is baptized. Uh, her name uh, among the Mohawk people meant something akin to she who bumps into things. Um, and so whether she was clumsy or she just encountered things, she seemed to have bumped into Christianity um, and found in it something uh, that was consistent uh, with her own understanding and her own culture um, as a native person of the Western Hemisphere um, and, so, um, and so accepts Christianity. Uh, she becomes a controversial figure among her people. Um, she helps to bring other people to Christianity, uh, but uh, she also suffers a great deal uh, because of what she believes and what she accepted as her belief. Um, um, a great model of piety, of penance, um, of works of mercy. Uh, she is remembered uh, for having the courage uh, to think differently, perhaps, um, and to try to be a reconciling force uh, among the European peoples as they encounter the native peoples of the Western Hemisphere. In today's readings, uh, we continue the story of Moses um, in Exodus. Uh, he now encounters the burning bush. Um, and in that burning bush, God is calling him to the great mission of being the person who helps to lead uh, the Israelites to freedom um, after Egyptian slavery. Um, oh, coming to you also from the Memorial Garden uh, today, as you can see over here. Um, the um, the thing that we hear in today's gospel, in today's uh, first reading, though, from Exodus, is the name of God. Um, and basically, the name of God is not a proper name. Uh, it is not a noun. It is a verb. Because God is not a noun. God is a verbal entity. Um, and so the understanding of God as I am, period. I am. Existence itself, to live, to be, uh, to breathe. Um, not some name like a Zeus or a Jupiter or a Hera or an Apollo or an Ares or a Mars, uh, but something that expresses all being, all that is. In many ways, again, that revelation of God's name to Moses um, is exceptional because if we are created in the image and likeness of God, then we are created in many ways to be the same kind of verbal entities, that we are defined by what we do, what we say, how we live in this world, and not by any title or by any kind of recognition that the world gives to us. Because it is in that giving of the name of God, uh, we are given the commission to be and to act in this world um, as people who exist uh, in light of what it is that God does. A God who loves, a God who forgives, a God who has mercy, a God who is constantly giving, and a God who is reluctant to judge or to judge permanently. Um, in the gospel, uh, Jesus kind of continues that understanding and that image of who and what God is uh, by showing uh, that Jesus comes uh, to those uh, who uh, wish to know more and more about uh, what it means uh, to live as a person of faith, as a person of belief. Um, and so Jesus comes to the, uh, to the meek and the mild, uh, to the small, to the insignificant, to those uh, who have uh, not uh, mattered much perhaps to this world or mattered much to what the world understands as power. Um, it is to those people uh, that God reveals uh, who and what uh, God is. Um, and so not to discount uh, those who might be deemed to be uh, small and of insignificant of no account in this world. What is more important though is that Jesus reveals the fact that whoever has seen him, listened to him, experiences him, experiences who and what God is. Again, a God who is not a taskmaster, a God who is not an overlord, a God who is not authority only, a God who does not seek to control, to dominate, to oppress or to suppress. But again, if we see the work of God in Jesus and in the Gospels, we see a God who cares, a God who cares desperately, a God who cares abundantly, a God who cares extravagantly for what it is that God has created, wishing to give it life, life in its fullest, and a life that has a richness, a dignity, a worth, and a value that no earthly or human source could ever give. And may the Lord give you his peace.